Someone stole the peacock's feathers. Someone tied up the octopus. Someone unstriped the zebra. When there's a strange crime in the zoo and you're looking for a clue, you'll always find him right on track. Sherlock Yak. Sherlock Yak. Hermione right by his side. The bad guys just can't hide. If you get lost, he'll get you back. Sherlock Yak. All the dreams and all the He's dope. mean and mean and he's no fool. And he's way double cool. He won't stand for no yakety yak. Sherlock Yak! I'm on the go. Will you find out before Sherlock? Who robbed the baboon? By all the trees and all the zoos. By all the trees and all the zoos. Mm. Uh, uh, by all the trees and all the zoos. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. By all the trees and all the souls. I can't believe this. Uh, oh, oh, ah, by all the trees and all the souls. That's a little tiring. What? This silly toy? I love the game. It's your swearing. By all the trees and all the souls. Every five seconds. Oh, you're exaggerating. By all the trees and all the souls. Hey, you see, it's like a tick. You can't help yourself. Yes, I can. I have perfect mastery of the words coming out of my mouth. I trained especially to do it. Young disciple, you must practice mastering language. Yes, Master. I will teach you a thousand-year-old exercise from the great Shaolin master, Yan Shi Chan. I'm ready, Master. We're going to play neither yes nor no. You must answer my questions, but you cannot answer by yes nor no. You understand? Mm, yes. Oh. Uh, uh. Hmm. I have an uncommon mental resistance, Hermione. If I wanted to, I could never again say buy all the trees and all the zoos. You think so? And I'll bet you a dinner in the restaurant that you can't spend the whole day without saying it. It's a bet. <laughs> this is Sherlock Yak. Oh, hello, baboon. Oh, by all the trees and all the zoos, I'm on the go. Mm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And the bet starts now. <laughs> this salad fizz cocktail is like an avocado flip, but with no avocado, we don't put any lemon juice or salt or celery or tomato. Actually, it's just a salad blended with a little water. Mm. These seats are very comfortable, baboon. I hope so. I paid a fortune for them. And two salad fizzes, too. <sighs> Ah, it'll be five peanut pesos. Excuse me, that's a fortune. Not at all, but because I like you, I'll make an effort. I'll make it eight peanut pesos. What? What's the matter with you? Come on, ten peanut pesos, and that's my last offer. By all the trees. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's some expensive sandwiches. Uh, Fine. Mm. So you were the victim of a robbery, huh? Yes, someone nabbed the contents of my till during the night. Everything we earned yesterday. Can you tell me what you did last night? Mm -hmm. I did like I always do. After the lost customer left, I looked around. I locked the door and put on the alarm. What alarm? This alarm. It goes off if someone tries to open the door. See for yourself. Look, I'll turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> That's some alarm. <laughs> yes, I turn it on every night and turn it off in the morning. So there's a code? Yes, it's 41B18. Hmm. Are you the only one who knows it? No, all the employees know it. Oh. Gorilla, Bobcat, and Turtle. Well then, I think we have our three suspects, Sherlock. Good deduction, Hermione. I declare this investigation open. What do you think? Huh. Of course I'm mad at baboon, buddies. Can you explain to us why? Well, up to now, he was paying me in bananas. <laughs> but last night, he paid me with zucchinis. Well, they're not that bad, you know. Huh? Well, I don't go for them, buddy. Mm. Ah, I see. And what kind of work do you do for Baboon? I'm security at the door. I'm about to, I guess. Is that why you train so much? Sure, buddies. If I have to throw out Mrs. Hippo, I can't have softy muscles. So you know the code for the alarm? Absolutely. It's 41... B18. That's it. You have a good memory. <laughs> Less than elephant. But I can't complain, buddy. <laughs> ah, by all the... Oops. Oh. Ah. I didn't say it. 
Sorry, buddy. <laughs> that gorilla is so clumsy. If it hurts too much, you should go see Dr. Beaky. You must be joking. It'll take more than a little foot injury to stop our investigation. Let's go interrogate Bobcat, Viola. The stars? Mm, no, that's right. Hmm. So you're the DJ at Baboon's Restaurant. Excuse me, but that's hard to believe. But it is true, young man. I'm the DJ here. Yo! I didn't know you were a king of the turntables. King of the what? Turntables. You know, record players. Oh, yes. Well, I didn't know that either, little Corrine. Hermione. So why did the baboon hire you? Because I'm cheap. But the day before yesterday, he went overboard, that whippersnapper. How so? I asked for a raise. He took my salary down. My salary went from 10 peanut pesos a day to Ooh. two peanut pesos a week. Gosh darn it! Baboon is a great negotiator. I've experienced it directly. By all the... Nothing at all. He's a rascal, yes. He deserves to be robbed. Hmm. Exactly. That's just what happened. He deserved it. But I didn't do it, little Janine. Hermione! That's what we'll find out. Tell me, do you know the alarm code at Baboon's place? Of course, Catherine. Oh. It's the, uh, um... Oh, darn. What am I thinking about? Well, I'll be... Apparently, you have some memory problems, right? Well, I don't know for sure. <laughs> Dr. Peaky told me something about that, but I, I can't remember. I see. Thanks, Bobcat. We'll keep you informed. <laughs> Mm. 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 Turtle is slow, but not that slow. Maybe she has a problem. It's open. Let's go in. Mm. Turtle? Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Mm. I've really had it. And when I'm really <laughs> fed up! I can't take a nap quietly even at home! <sighs> Sorry, Turtle, I hadn't seen you. Well, it's always the same. No one ever notices me. All right, what do you want from me? We're investigating a theft at Baboon's restaurant. Well, serves him right. He shouldn't pay everyone with monkey money. He pays the gorilla with zucchinis. You too? No, he reduced my salary saying that I drink salad fizzes instead of serving customers. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Hmm. And do you know the code for the alarm of the door? Yes, it's 41B18, but I couldn't have done it. I can't open the door. It's much too heavy for me. Hmm. Why don't you show us, Turtle? Fine. <laughs> Hermione, tell Bobcat and Gorilla we're going back to Baboon's place. See for yourself. I can do the code. <laughs> I can't open the door. Hmm? Hmm. It's much too heavy for me. I can open it, but I can't remember the code. I see. And you, Gorilla, can you oh. do the code and open the door? Oh. Yeah, buddy, no problem. Ugh. I'll be <gasps> a zucchini, I mean a banana. There's something stuck, buddy. Huh? Yes, it's your shoulders. <laughs> Oh, gee, now Gorilla doesn't go through the door. Just for that, I'm taking your salary down two peanut pesos. What? That's not fair, buddy. All right, because it's you, I'll take it down four peanut pesos. Say, you little monkey, that's enough already. Give me what you owe me right now. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll give you some advice, little monkey. You just keep quiet or out you go. Grrr. Stop, that's enough. Well, Sherlock, how should we continue the investigation? We don't need to, because I know who the culprit is. Huh? What about you, young detective? If you pay close attention, I'm sure you can figure it out. Let's see now. During the night, someone stole the contents of Baboon's cash register. His employees didn't like him because he's very cheap. But who did it? Turtle, Gorilla, or Bobcat? Actually, the case is simple. Gorilla. 
You know the code for the alarm, and you're strong enough to open the heavy door. But could you have robbed the baboon when your muscles wouldn't let you? Mm -mm. I said I didn't do it, buddy. Bobcat, you hold a grudge against Baboon to have reduced your salary, but could you have committed the robbery when you can't even remember the club's alarm code? What code is that? Whoever did it went into Baboon's place by cutting off the alarm and opening the door, or they never came out of the club after it closed. Isn't that right, Turtle? Because the culprit is you! What? Huh? Ugh. <gasps> Yes, Turtle stayed in the club overnight, disguising herself as a chair. She had the whole night to rob Baboon's cash, and in the morning at opening time, she discreetly left without anyone noticing she was there. I confess, I took matters into my own hands. That Baboon cheats everyone. He deserved a lesson. It's true Baboon is also a crook. That's why I demand that you have standard and fair pricing in your restaurant. As for you, Turtle, you deserve to be punished. Turtle can handle those turntables better than you. Certainly, but, uh, what's a turntable? Mm. Your luck, it's almost midnight. You're about to win your bet. That's great. All's well that ends well. By all the trees and all the zo- Oops. Mm? Mm. With, I'll have some asparagus mousse with wild herbs, with a few cauliflower cakes just for a little taste, then a little soy soup with saffron risotto.